Omaha Baseball Village 2016, our sixth annual event, has been outstanding. We've seen growth, we've seen new vendors, we've made some amazing changes to the layout and some of the design, and the crowds have been fantastic. All of this is just steps from the stadium. We can hear the crack of the bat. As you enter the Omaha Baseball Village, there's so much to see and so much to do. It's mind boggling. We have vendors lined up, ready to sell you all of their wares, t-shirts, hats, everything you could ever want right here at the Omaha Baseball Village. But we're making it really fun for the fans to be able to have a variety of vendors at their fingertips as they walk through. The bullpen is our north facility. It's on the north property. It's literally steps from the stadium. Amazing, 18,000 square feet. We've got half of it is actual stores with some higher end. We've got Shields and um, Mizuno in there. We also have a beautiful store by Adidas. And then a lot of the other space is used for pop-up shops. Adidas gave away bats and cleats at a little training zone inside their store for the entire event. So it's been a really popular attraction for fans of all ages to get in there and try to win some new dip cleats. So the future of the bullpen is bright. We've seen an increased attendance and we wanna keep on making fans happy every day. As you've gotten a few steps into the baseball village, you will notice our greatest new attraction this year has been the HD video walls. We have three enormous video walls with the best and most clear quality that you can see them literally from the stadium. So we have a fan cam going at all times. People are watching themselves on the big screen. That has been a really fun part of this enhancement to the Omaha Baseball Village. There's not really a larger party tent than the tent that we use at the Omaha Baseball Village. We can fit a couple thousand people into there and it's amazing. Fans are laughing, music is buzzing in there, we have several bars. Going into the stage, we had the Bud Light stage, um, as big as ever, great acts every night, live music every single night, and some really outstanding acts that come down and just get the crowd jumping. And we have more su surprises in store with our nightly entertainment. So the cornerstone of the Omaha Baseball Village truly is the Old Mattress Factory Bar and Grill. Everyone that has been to OBV knows about the mat. They've been inside the mat, obviously. Great time, a lot of fun, usually wall-to-wall -wall people. The food is outstanding, ice cold drinks served constantly throughout the day, and the staffing is so tremendous. If you want to look at partying above the crowd, you want to do the VIP experience. Fans that choose the VIP experience are located in the upstairs of the map with all the amenities including air conditioning, indoor restrooms, you know, daily menu, all-inclusive food and beverage. It's an amazing way to pre-party before the College World Series games. But we also have the use of the upper deck, which is by far one of the nicest views around. And you are definitely set apart from the crowd. You can see into the stadium, you have full view of the stage, and you get to do great people watching. So again, this is all part of the VIP experience. We want every fan that comes here to have a great time, whether you're ordering food and drink, whether you're buying your favorite team t-shirt or something else, but the prizes that we do daily really, really help us stand out. We are giving away over $1,500 worth of prizes every single day here. Every vendor has an opportunity, first of all, for tremendous exposure. You are hitting fans from all over the country. You have nine major markets represented here at the opening weekend. Each year it's our job to look at what we did well and enhance that and to look at the places where we may need to pick up the pace a little bit. So another giant blowout for 2017 where we spent every day, all day long, creating the best overall fan experience from everyone that chooses to come to the Omaha Baseball Village.